Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Out Extreme Freeride. I'm Insetic, and with me is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? And also we have Canuck Dude. Hey, what's crack a lack in the home slice fam dogs? so dogs? before we move on to the next mountain range, I'm just showing off a quick little bonus clip. I talked about it in the previous video, how on the second area of Mount Blanca, you could just at the start turn to the right and go up the rocks and make your way up there and you can actually make your way around the invisible wall and over to the uh, first area. So I believe, you know, second area, you start in Grizzly Creek, you can actually ride over into Death Valley where there won't be any challenges in there. You know, huh. Cause, cause you're in the Grizzly Creek version of the map, but you can still see like the gap uh, line icons. And when, they, when, the, when the areas spill out into a common ending point, you'll be able to see that that is the case and you can see that, hey, now we have challenges here because that's where uh, Grizzly Creek comes from. Weird. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, just a, just a fun little thing that I recorded off. Oh, oh you, can, you can see the snow trail, sort of. Yeah, you can see the snow trail disappear. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's you like can see warm. my guy's, like, legs and future disappear as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, but then we are actually continuing on after we buy some more clothes since we unlocked a bit more to uh, Red Cloud Valley, the third mountain range. And so I guess while this goes on, I'll mention that Canuck Dude wanted to be in these videos because he's We're, actually had some experience with this game. Yes, uh, uh, I bought this game like five years ago on Steam. Wow. Um, yeah. and yeah. I played two hours of it, and it was thoroughly mediocre. Yeah, so he's played the second most out of anyone in the world. Mm-hmm. Next I'm to me. I'm the second Question, best did you, freak out player in the world. Did you, yeah. uh, oh, by Point Leonard, interesting. Um, did you, uh, play just enough to get a refund? Yeah, did Steam have the two-hour refund back then? Or refund time limit? Oh god, you guys cut out for like all of that. Uh, I was just wondering if you if you'd gotten a refund from uh, from Steam. I I can't tell what you're asking. You're cutting out on my end. Damn. This is my internet. Damn. Well, rip in peace, I guess. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we're going we're going down the mountain in the overhead cam, but you might have noticed you weren't really seeing any challenges in that one. Yeah. What the hell. Uh, that's, that's a little weird. I guess we'll come back to that later. Oh. Um. Yeah, after you just do a three times front flip. No big deal. Yeah, well, that's the uh, little specific trick. So yeah, Red Cloud Valley Dragon Tail Peak. This is kind of interesting, because over on the right, you can see sort of an elevated path. And it has multiple spots for you to jump out into the left-hand main area. But if you stay up there, well, you'll see, you know, as I go further along in the video and show off what's up there, kind of how that goes kicks ass uh yeah. okay so since now i'm back and fully functional what was that question you guys asked me i was just asking if you got a refund uh from uh, steam no i re-downloaded it today oh dude i'm sorry oh yeah memories makes you want I, to go back there i guess i i there. shouldn't be sorry are you enjoying your time with the game now <laughs> fuck no okay Damn. never mind <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, so, I, you mentioned this in your first video, that this is meant to be played with a keyboard. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, you can tell that the uh, controller and the keyboard are mapped to do, like, the same things, in a sense. Which is obvious, because you cannot map the back button to anything. Oh. Like, whatever is set to, like, be the go back a menu in the menu... You can't map to anything on the control map and screen. So I really? when I played the game I was using a direct input controller. Which uh. meant that the A button went meant like go back in the menu. So I just couldn't use the A button in the game. Oh. Yeah, uh -huh. it just wouldn't let me map the A button to anything. It's a well made game. Uh-huh. So I was uh. jumping with the right bumper, because I guess that felt most natural. Bumper jumper, yeah. Yeah, so I want to point out two things. One, for some reason, when you get to the third mountain range, the pickup challenges suddenly give you more possible collectibles than is required. Huh. So I only needed to pick up 10, but it gave me like 16 that I could pick. So 
suddenly the pickup challenges actually get easier because you can God miss bless. some. Um, Weird. Also, the tricking challenges are easier because you could see now I'm flipping around like a complete maniac. And yeah, that was kind of horrifying. Real yeah, real so, talk. <laughs> um, but I did not experience that, I guess, because I mapped my Xbox One controller through Steam. So if oh, the game God, required, you know, hitting the escape key to be the back button, basically, I just programmed that to the back button on the Xbox One controller. Yeah, I've never used that before and entirely forgot it was a thing. Yeah, it's easy to forget that you can you can do that. Um, also, I was going to say, because I think I saw you doing this earlier, I kind of noticed how you can abuse the grab combo system, where it just kind of adds 0.2 times to your multiplier every time you do a grab. Mm. So you can just spam grabs and like get like three times extra multiplier than you can than you'd normally get. I think yeah. I saw you doing that earlier. Like, maybe not that extreme, because it is only, like, 0.2 times every time you do an extra grab, but... Right. Yeah, I think as I get near the end, I sometimes throw bonus additional grabs in there. But, yeah, I'm not gonna say that's a... That's a insetic tip, you know? I'm an not gonna say, strap? like... But a oh, Canuck... Man. Canuck, it's uh... A... Canuck... Uh, c I'm trying to think of a You're word. You're trying to think of something with a C or yeah. like a uh, sound? Yeah, I, I got nothing. Canuck. Uh, quickie. Canuck quickie. Yeah. That's a Canuck quickie. Woo, wait. You got hey, any other Canuck quickies about Freak Out? Um, Aside from your time playing the game. Yeah, that was a pretty quickie. <laughs> yeah, it was like two hours. You listen, you got played enough of the game to listen to every Three Feet Smaller song and then you were done. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, I want to show this off. So this is another mountain range with uh, a combined ending area. So if you're missing some of the jumps from this first mountain range, they're probably over here. Uh, oh. You saw that I had to jump and then really curve to the right and go to an area you wouldn't expect anything to be in. But there's two of the jump challenges for this level over that's in that really, passage, which is basically dumb. where you could first meet up in the bottom area. And then also, you know, you curve way to the right and you could see more jump challenges for this that's level. weird why would they do that <sighs> to 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 really you know this is where they get like 40 jump challenges so i guess they're pulling a sneaky on you yeah, to, yeah to really to really space them out i guess weird and hold a quick one yeah because this 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 uh map this range doesn't have an area where they can stick like 10 of them next to each other and also, I've never jumped to that tree. Yeah, how Mitch. the fuck are you supposed to? I don't know, dude. Very careful. You'll see I try that like two more times and I never get that second jump. You just gotta do it very carefully. Man, the yeah. ra rail challenges in this in this level don't seem as awful, but are still awful. Yeah. Alright, so uh, after meeting the tree a bit, yeah, you can see <laughs> on the right path is basically a uh, elevated overhang and then yeah you could either jump up even higher over to the right or if you kind of jump to this spot there's some jump challenges and a gap challenge and i believe here is where i start if there's like three pickup or three gap challenges in a level i will just do them on camera be you know because they're not super hard maybe oh. they take a few attempts but just to kind of round out the level a little bit more I'm obviously not going to, you know, go for every jump challenge or go for unneeded rail challenges. Yeah. Um, but like or even all the gap, needed rail challenges. But like all gap challenges completed. So if if there's like one or two of something, then I'll show it off. And then of course you'll get the dogs. Yeah, yeah. All. I think the, the dogs, dogs well. might be my favorite part of the game. Oh yeah. Uh, their repeated barking. Uh, uh -huh. it's great, and then also... The one dot wave file. Yeah. 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 And... I will... Well, how the fuck are you supposed to make that? I, I, I will say, as, you know, a bit of insetic opinion, I think the range you should hear the dogs at should be bigger. Yeah, for sure. You know, like, especially it reminds me, it takes me back to the Amped series, where there are the, the snowman, snowman collectibles, 
and you can hear them trash talking you from a good distance, enough to know that okay, one is coming up, or okay, one is around this area. You basically need to be right next to a dog for it to register, also mainly because you're going kind of fast, unless yeah. you carve and slow down. Actually, um, speaking of amped, I wanted to say that that right side ridge with that big ass gap actually kind of reminded me of that one uh, photo shoot challenge in that one level, I forget the name of it, but it was the night time. Uh, that, that one with the snow? The tree break? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one with the snow. And with the one where you're on your, um... Your snow board. board. What's, what's yeah. it called? Not these, not these ski things, but like one big fat ski. Big ski, ski fat ski. Step on. Yeah, the <laughs> fat ski. Yeah, the fat Sideways ski game. Ski. Yeah. Amped then, freestyle fat skiing. And, then, and you don't have the game. sticks. It's, uh, yeah. amp yeah. freestyle fat skiing, no <laughs> stick edition. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to like be I able hate to the hold rail like, challenges. They a suck. pizza, a pizza, and a medium-sized coke as you go down the slopes. Yeah, it's you it's know. more leisurely activity. Dr dude, what if there was a ride through McDonald's? That'd be like, cool. You're snowboarding or you're skiing or well, you you can't do it while skiing because you got to hold the poles. But you're you're fa you're snowboarding. Well, not <laughs> if you're fat skiing. Yeah, you're fat skiing, and like there's a long. McDonald's, where like you pull up and you <laughs> order, McDonald's? and then you know you just ride down a little further. There's window one, you pay. Ride down a little further. There's window two, you get your food, and you keep riding. I mean, don't you remember? Uh, I don't even remember what series this was. We we talked about the idea of doing like a Oof. drag race, a drag race Sonic, right? Where you you rev up at the beginning, and then you blast through, and you just try to grab your food as you go by. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so we could combine those events. Uh huh. And people are drag racing while other people are fat skiing in in the road. I mean, I I I, I feel like people are gonna die. Is the point? I think it's a viable business strategy. You think about ski resorts, and sure, there's restaurants like at the top of the slope or something, but you still have to get off of your uh, skis, your, your your movement movement thing of choice, and get a table and get dining service. Yeah, what that. the hell no, is that? that? Yeah. Let's bring fast food to the slopes. And I mean, they say like, ski resort, but like when you, wh what do you do when you, it's time to go to bed? You go into a building Yeah. and you sleep? Just fall like, asleep what is on your fat ski. Screw that. Yeah. We should have people sleeping on the slopes. That's eight hours a day that people spend not on the slopes. Yeah. Like, what the heck? I Wasting mean, you your know. time. You don't have to worry about someone getting first pass on a fresh slope if you're always doing passes. Oh, yeah, constantly, right? Like, you yeah. strap yourself down onto one of your fat skis. Uh-huh. Uh, and you hold on as yeah. you ride. Yeah. Kanak, what do you think? Uh, admittedly, I was disconnected. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. That. exactly, exactly. Now, hold on to what? You know, you said hold on, but but what are we holding on to? I don't know what you're holding on to, but I know you are holding on for your, your life. Butt. Oh, I think you'd hold on to something where once you hit the bottom, it would immediately send you over to the to the lift station to bring you back up the mountain. So oh, it's like a slingshot. Like, maybe just like a giant pole rope. Yeah. Actually, yeah. no. The point is, is that you're going so fast, is that you just grab onto a pole at the end and you spit her out and just go right back up the mountain. It goes yeah. Uh throws you right yeah. back up. But I was thinking maybe you're holding on to yourself to make sure you don't fly apart. Or Yeah, that's also what I said. You're holding on to your own ass. Yeah, holding yeah. on to your own ass. You're holding on to your your uh, your fat ski. Mm -hmm. Or you're holding on to uh, your loved ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're holding on to your will. Yeah, or you can be holding on to a double cheeseburger meal with a Coke. Yes, because this is a resort. And if you're you not ride supposed through to the McDonald's. Yeah, or like maybe you get the. Well, I was thinking more. It's, if it's a resort, there's probably the restaurant on the way, right? So no, you're holding no, on to. You don't actually. Do that. Was, you want to. You want to do the ride through. I was thinking that this hypothetical restaurant on the ski resort would give discounts for how fast you go through it. That's great. I like that. Uh huh. Like if but you can I'm go through like, without stopping, they like, give you half off. I don't, Connor. I don't think you're you're thinking big enough, right? Like McDonald's is great, but like imagine getting like. Uh, like a filet mignon. Ooh. Like a chill through the, the, the ride through. 
Not oof to the Filumignon, just that skeleton was, you know, hoping to get a new leg or something that landed right on him. Turned into an elephant. I yeah, guess. yeah. He, no, I think it, the, the, uh, the elephant was end? inside of the treasure chest. Or the loot box, rather. Yeah, loot right. box. Right, right. The loot box landed right on you. Yeah. I know that yeah. feeling. It's a new yeah. it's a new loot box system that they're trying out where they're just gonna deliver it right to your door. Instead of getting the loot box, the loot box got you. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so next video, we are staying on Red Cloud Valley, but we will go to the second area, Mount Dead End. Wow, that sounds really extreme. Yeah, I said that all like spooky kinda. You said that Whoa. all extreme? That was See the you extreme next time. voice.